Hey guys, welcome back to another installment in my retrospective review series where I take a look at an album that's been out for a couple years and then give my more modern day thoughts on it. Uh, just a little quick disclaimer before I get into like the track by track stuff. I kind of, I think I might have a cold right now. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. You might hear me sniffle a few times. Just please bear with me. I'll try not to make it too annoying for you guys. All right. Uh, Trippy Red is an artist that I am a, I used to be like the biggest fan of. I used to actually hate him the first time I saw him. And then that turned into um, a huge love, which then now more recently, I'm a bit more iffy on him. I think he still it has so much potential to get even bigger. And right now he is one of the bigger rappers of this generation um, in terms of popularity and um, success and just everything, right? He has a big big fan base i was gonna say huge again but i don't want to keep repeating words and his versatility is definitely respectable i just don't think it all works out but this 2018 album here to me is his best project so let's get into a little track by track and uh, then i'll give my thoughts at the end like i usually do the first track here together i'm not a big fan of it it is like <clears throat> the slower sound of trippy red is okay and there's another song on here that is more melodic but it's because the instrumental really works for it just a little spoiler alert that song i'm talking about is how you feel but together's background instrumental just doesn't i mean it's really lifeless to me and trippy's vocals are good that vocal strain he does you know like the ah, all that stuff it sounds good to me honestly but here it just sounds weird. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of this one. It's not a terrible song or anything. It's just not a highlight. Taking a Walk with the Scott Storch uh, assisted background beat instrumental. Uh, could have said that better. Uh, trip. This is really where the album starts for me because it's the first track I like. It, it's one of my, I think I'd put it in the top 20 Trippy Red songs for me. Maybe not. Maybe I'll have to do a video on that because Trippy has a lot of great songs. And Taking the Walk is right there. Um, I like the the lyrical parts of it. That uh, chicken noodle bar. You know what I'm talking about if you've heard it. Can't finish the whole thing. But uh, the way the beat kind of kicks in and drops every time the hook starts sounds really good. And, even, and it's really low key. It's just a really nice chill song. Great official start for me uh wish so the version of wish that we get on this album is the trippy mix which i guess the way it differentiates from the diplo version the original one is that the vocals in the background are pitched up a little more i'm not seeing it too much maybe i'm just not looking for the right things but either way that doesn't change the fact that it's a good song this was the first song by trippy i ever heard and like the first time I heard it, I was like, ew, what is this? But then it kept playing in my head, you know, the hook of it. Where then the vocal strain really started working for me. And now, well, we're here now. Uh, really, really nice sounding song. There are people that either love the hook or hate it. I've seen one of my favorite uh, YouTubers, uh, CDTV Productions. He did a reaction to it and he hated the hook. And uh, I actually really like it. That, that's like the main highlight of the song. Missing My Idols fits into the album track list like Can You Rap Like Me does on the first of Love Letter to You where you have a bunch of melodic songs surrounding it for the most part. There's some more rap songs on here. And then Missing My Idols is just a straight banger. And that and also fits in with songs like Bird Shit and Bang that are just a little bit later in the track list after this one. Uh, th these three are all solid rap focused ones not really too much on melodies except for like the hooks of a uh, bird shit and bang but still you know the, the songs aren't just hooks uh, from the verse like the flow switch in uh, the second verse of bang to the ka in the background that trippy keeps doing throughout bird shit just and then to the overall beat of missing my idols that vocal sample is great uh, Forever Ever with Young Thug and Reese LaFlair. I don't really care for Reese's part that much. And of course, the production is great on this again. 
Young Thug's contribution is amazing. The the hook he brings here just it sounds so good. And uh, the the production really complements his voice and then Trippy comes in as smooth as ever to deliver a pretty explicit verse but you know about getting down and dirty but it, it's it sounds so good. Uh later we get tracks like How You Feel which I mentioned earlier. Maybe the most pretty song Trippy ever made. I mean, the vocals sound beautiful. The background is great. I've heard people talk about what it samples. I don't remember what it is. And I don't, like, people were saying it was, like, some Nirvana song, I think. M maybe I'm wrong. But it sounds so good either way. And, yeah, Trippy's vocals just sound as clean as ever. It's it, it's one, when I, my mom first heard a Trippy Red, she started playing him in the car. And uh, she was like, well, what song do you suggest? And I played uh, How You F and I told her to play How You Feel, and she really liked it. So, yeah, just thought I'd share that. Uh, later in the track, well, here, I'll get to Dark Knight Dumbo for one. It might still be Trippy's biggest song. I don't know. I mean, he's been getting bigger and bigger ever since this album dropped out. Really, ever since uh, 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 Love Scars came out a few years back, so... There's a chance it's not anymore, but Dark Knight Demo was his biggest song for the longest time. The production here, which I know for sure uh, C-Note produces it because I hear his tag in it, but there might be others. But whoever contributed to all of the production layers here, you need a, you need a, <clears throat> you need a kiss, honestly. It sounds so good. Trippy's vocals, that strained vocal delivery on the chorus is fantastic. And uh, Travis Scott's contribution here. I mean, the, a lot of people only remember the song for Travis Scott, which it's really good, but Trippy needs his credit on it too. Uka Uka, Oom's Revenge, and Gore are uh, part of the last part of the, um, last quarter of the album, maybe uh, just last part of it, right? I don't think these are standouts. Oom's Revenge is another rapping song that's pretty good. Uh, Uka Uka, I don't really care for that much. And uh, Gore, it's fine. Um, in the middle of these songs, though, is Shake It Up, which is kind of like a strip club anthem. It has like the least amount of substance of any song on here. And it really kind of like takes away from the lyrical themes we've been getting throughout the album. But it's a dumb song and I like it. It's really catchy and, you know, I'm not ashamed of that. It's, I really like it. <laughs> The final track here, Underwater Fly Zone, ends the album the way it starts, on very little production, with Trippy's vocals taken center stage. And again, I don't really care for it, especially when we've gotten a bunch of really good sounding rap, and then like rap, um, maybe like melodic rap combinations is what I'm trying to say. But overall, this album it, at the time was a great step in the right direction for Trippy Red. In 2021, I look back on this album and thinks, think it's his magnum opus, his most complete project uh, as of now. Uh, he keeps hyping up Trip at Night coming out soon, so we'll see. But I would give this album 8 out of 10. I really mean it. I'm not just saying that because, you know, some people, when you give a high review to like a new artist, to like a new age artist, they think you're just overhyping them. No, I truly think this is an 8 out of 10. My favorite tracks here would be Taking a Walk, Wish, Missing My Idols, Forever Ever, Bird Shit, Bang, How You Feel, Dark Knight Dumbo, and Shake It Up. Of course, I'll put all those down below along with my least favorite tracks like I always do. But yes, let me know what you guys thought about it. Um, I read all of your comments, so I'd love to see them. Like, uh, I would appreciate a subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace.